A breed of high-tech fish is coming to Indiana, and the company producing it has hopes of changing the aquaculture industry. Samantha Horton has the story. The small town of Albany, Indiana, is an unlikely location for a salmon production facility. It's surrounded by cornfields and is miles from any body of water. The fish that will be grown here are just as unusual as the location. Massachusetts-based Aquabounty will produce a GMO salmon that it says will grow faster than freshwater raised fish. Uh, it does so because we've given it the ability, using the same biological process that regulates growth in the unmodified salmon, uh, to grow about twice as fast, reaching market weight in about half the time. One expert who testified to the FDA as it was considering Aquabounty's case says the protein in the fish is the same as other freshwater salmon and poses no human consumption risk. You know, as an animal breeder, we breed for fast-growing animals all the time. I mean, if you look at a chicken today versus 50 years ago, you know, they grow more rapidly um, through conventional breeding, and this is just using um, biotech to do the same things. We're not using uh, coastal waterways. We're not putting antibiotics and medications into the water. Uh, our fish are in a controlled environment. We don't need antibiotics. We don't have to treat for sea lice. During a tour of the facility, Stotches points out a number of precautions the company's made to prevent any of the fish from escaping. This is the most contained facility probably anywhere in the world, anywhere in the industry. Uh, this is above and beyond anything that exists. And the fish's genetic makeup also makes it unlikely they'd survive, let alone breed outside the facility. The fish cannot get out into wild, um, into the ocean, and they're also being raised as females and, and triploid, which makes them infertile. Um, and so um, that really um, is a containment approach to prevent any uh, escapement and interbreeding with the wild fish populations. But Aquabounty has had to swim against the current of groups that oppose biotech fish due to environmental and health concerns. There have been studies that look at the safety of genetically modified animals, but some of the critics call them inadequate. So rather than realize that they had a bad test because they couldn't detect anything, rather than do that, uh, both the company and the agency concluded from that data that there were no differences in growth hormone levels between the, the treated and untreated fish. But Stoddish sees his company as a pioneer in an increasingly crowded world. There aren't enough terrestrial resources or aquatic resources to be able to meet the protein needs of those 9 billion people. Still, stores such as Kroger, Target, and Aldi have already announced they will not sell Aquabounty's biotech salmon. The Albany facility, which used to be a conventional fish farm, is still being renovated as company leaders wait on an import alert to be lifted, so GMO salmon eggs may be brought from Canada into the U.S. Once the eggs arrive at the facility, it will take about 18 months before the first batch of fish is ready to go to market. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Samantha Horton.